Doctors call it the Hollywood heart attack. A middle-aged person, typically male, breaks into a cold sweat, then he grimaces in pain, clutches his chest, and collapses without warning. What you see in the movies? Sounds very familiar, in fact. But in real life, it's a rare for heart attacks to be that dramatic. The warning signs can be a subtle jaw ache or insomnia. And there's good reason for us to pay more attention to this, especially me, middle-aged male, that exactly what you described there. That's right, um, because heart this attack is, is one of the leading causes of exactly. death. But early detection and intervention can improve chances of survival. So to talk to us more is a cardiologist, Dr. Stanley Chiad. Dr. Chad, good morning. Good morning. All right, so what Annalisa was describing there earlier, middle-aged male, um, you, you feel that heart pain, mm -hmm. uh, sort of, yes. I, I had it, I had it on the set before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it wasn't a heart attack, but right. how do we know what exactly is a heart attack? Now, I think certain, certainly in terms of symptoms, the typical symptoms would include chest discomfort, a pressure, and some would describe it as like an elephant sitting on your chest. And it's associated with shortness of breath, profuse sweating, nausea, vomiting, and just a few feeling of severe lethargy, tiredness. But again, that's a very typical scenario. Heart attack can be more subtle. Some patients get atypical symptoms. They just get a bit of jaw ache or tightness in their arm and just feel generally unwell. Now, I think more so specific specifically for those over the age of 65, diabetic patients and ladies, their symptoms can be a bit subtle and unusual. I have patients who feel abdominal discomfort. They thought they have gastric for a week, and when you have a good look, they actually had a heart attack, or they may just feel a back pain, or just feeling not good. Okay, let me just follow up on that, doctor. Everything you just talked about and described, I'm sure you have too. Yeah. I have felt in an extended period of time, but the way you describe it, is this like a, you know, you feel that for one moment and then it disappears, or is it a prolonged symptom? Right, I think if the symptoms are prolonged and continuous, do seek medical attention because that may be your individual's signs and symptoms of heart attack. Now, however, if the symptoms go away gradually, I think then perhaps it is a good idea just to discuss with your general practitioner because everyone's different. You can look at your risk profile. If you're at a high risk for heart attack, certainly we would want to pay more attention. And high risk in terms of your blood pressure, cholesterol, family history, your habits in terms of smoking, exercise, and all this will come together to help the doctor make a more clear and definite diagnosis. Now, what about the differences between men and women? Because, mm. you know, typically yes. male, you yes. say, mm. but it happens to women, of course. Yes, I think certainly, I think it's always a misconception that a heart attack only affects men. But actually, in some countries, women, there are more heart disease in women compared to men. In general, women tend to get heart attacks about 10 years later compared to men, more so after menopause. And again, heart disease in ladies very often are go undetected because they think they, don't, they won't get heart attack. Certainly the symptoms tend to be a bit different. They don't get your classical central crushing chest pain. The symptoms may just be a bit of discomfort or just feeling unwell. And there's often a delay in seeking uh, medical attention. Mm. So as you mentioned, there are 60s for men and maybe 10, 20 years later yes. for women. That's right. But with the environment changing now, the yes. work environment, more pressure yes. at work, yes. sleep habits have changed, eating habits have changed. That's right. Is it possible that instances of heart attacks uh, are getting uh, is getting earlier for for both sexes? Yes. yes, I think certainly. I think in terms of certainly looking at lifestyle, if a, a person is a smoker, unfortunately, we do get patients in their twenties or thirties who get heart attack if they have a very bad um, um, lifestyle habits. And again, if there's a very strong family history of early heart attack, you may get it a bit earlier as well. I think otherwise, I think looking at um, our lifestyle, heart attack is so common, unfortunately. There's thousands of people who get heart attack in Singapore every year. And certainly, you do majority of them are in their 50s, 60s, or 70s, but certainly in their 30s and 40s, is also a yeah, the disturbing um, thing that we've yeah. been hearing too is more reports of active young people yes. experiencing heart attacks. Uh, just the other day, a marathon runner in Malaysia yes. uh, collapsed. Uh, you know, an active person yes. during the race uh, mm. had been training for years. Yes. How does that happen? How does someone that's active and healthy mm -hmm. experience a heart attack? Yes, unfortunately for a heart attack, again, it can be you can present with a catastrophic event like a sudden heart attack. They may have underlying um, coronary artery disease for several years and they have gone undetected. So what happens in the blood vessels is that you get these cholesterol plaques, are so, kind of like dormant volcanoes and nothing happens. But su suddenly because of stress, emotional anger, 
um, marathons, extreme exercise, the stress on the body system causes the volcano to erupt or explode. And when that happens, that suddenly blocks up the blood vessel. So heart attacks become a very sudden and unfortunate event. So again, for people who want to go for endurance exercise, I would advise you to consult your doctor, look at your um, health risks, look at your blood pressure control, and try to have some kind of risk assessment before going for extreme sports. That sounds really worrying though. Do you think then that everyone mm -hmm. should go for annual checkups? Is this even possible that a doctor can detect okay. only based on your lifestyle and your, your medical uh, history? And, uh, um, certainly, I think it's quite difficult to determine whether you have cholesterol deposits in the heart unless you have very specific scans and it's certainly not feasible for everyone to go and through And you don't that. want to worry the patient yes, too much certainly. as well because that may even lead to a worse yes, uh, scenario. definitely. So for the vast majority of um, individuals, I'll just advise them to go for regular check to at least screen for the health, um, health risk, diabetes, blood pressure, con cholesterol, or family risk factors. These are very easily uh, easy things for us to um, eliminate to, or at least check to make sure that they are lower risk. Certainly, if patients do have some kind of symptoms or some kind of worry, I would advise to go a step further. And there are various tests that can help the doctor determine whether there's underlying heart disease. Well, we talked about symptoms, we've talked about prevention. Mm. Now, what if you are experiencing mm. that heart attack? What if mm. you, the symptoms that you're yes. mentioning, mm. what can we do? What's the most important thing to do in the moment? I think certainly um, heart attack is a, a very critical um, illness. And again, time is the essence. So if you think you do have a heart attack, don't delay. Do go to see a doctor as soon as possible because um, immediate treatment can actually save the muscle of the heart. But prior to getting to the hospital, again, if there's someone with you, make sure you're in a safe environment. If a person already has underlying heart problem, they may have aspirin or what we call GTN tablets, um, glycerol trinitrate tablets, that will help improve the blood flow to the heart just for a short while. And this will, in a sense, buy some time and protect the heart until they get to the hospital or get to their doctor. So is it harmful, though, if somebody feels the numbing, the jaw mm -hmm. numbing that yes. you talked about, tightening of the chest? Yes. And then it goes away after 10 minutes, and then you resume back to and what you And then you, you just brush it before. off. Yeah. Yes. I think, and the thing is, we don't know whether there's a small heart attack sometimes. Exactly. You know. so, and, and, so and, and the person definitely wouldn't know. And, and, and again, sadly, there are patients that come to hospitals with a big heart attack. What, and if you, on close questioning, you say, oh, maybe for the last week, I've been getting occasional chest discomfort. It goes away, so I think it's fine. I thought it's gastric, it's fine. Mm. But, but a small heart attack actually heralds the coming of a Bigger potential heart big heart attack. So again, I wouldn't discount the symptoms. It may just be gastric or, or muscle mm -hmm. ache, but certainly don't just brush it off. Okay, so real quick, uh, Dr. Chia, what are your must-do heart care tips? I think, for our viewers? I think for everyone, make sure you do regular exercise, certainly um, at least five days a week, 30 minutes. Do get, go for regular checkup. At least make sure your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar is well controlled. Eat healthily and sensibly. All right. Okay. All right. Did that you hear that, Tim? clear <laughs> exercise. No more. Eat healthy. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right, doctor. Thank you very much for thank teaching us all much. that. Dr. Cha, Stanley Cha from Mount Elizabeth Hospital here in Singapore uh, about the uncommon symptoms of a heart attack and what you should do to prevent it from happening to That's you. Some good tips there. Mm -hmm. Stay with us, though. Time for a breather. World News is up next. Plus, 